Lunchtime on the International Space Station. Not the most attractive of dishes and hardly a stunning presentation. Every food ration must ensure the crew members get the right nutritional balance in order to deal with the tough conditions in weightlessness. Through the years, space agencies have been striving to develop and improve the fare on board to help the astronauts feel more at home. The French chef Alain Ducasse and his team has been collaborating with the French National Space Agency since 2004 on the Space Food Project. Dried foods sent into space for astronauts can include anything from lobster and quinoa to confit de canard. We have to consider all the scientific aspects of space and cook for the maximum of time so that residual humidity is very low and that there are no crumbs. The production of the food has to meet certain criteria. There must be no bacteria to avoid diseases, the least amount of liquid and no crumbs to avoid interfering with the technology. Due to the state of weightlessness, the sense of smell is affected differently from when you eat on Earth. There is a major loss or even a complete loss of flavour that we have to take into consideration. So the menus are spiced more. There's more spice in space. French astronaut Thomas Pesquet has been aboard the ISS since last November. He has a choice of dishes from a list of around 30 created by Ducasse's team, which account for the specific needs of living in orbit. Of course, during spaceflight, nutritional needs are a little bit higher. A man of 70 kilograms will need around 2,800 calories with more proteins than what is recommended here on Earth. So proteins will represent 20% of total energy input, lipid 30%, and carbohydrates, which are a kind of fuel for the body, represent 50% of an astronaut's diet. Le Cressionnaire and his team prepared 13 dishes for Pesquet, including confit de canard, crusty vegetables on spicy tomato sauce, and even a lobster with quinoa, green seaweed and lemon condiments. Weightlessness also influences the taste of the dishes. As we know, the taste and flavours in space are modified. We won't salt the quinoa. Green seaweed will be the ingredient that will supply a quantity of salt. And we know that during desiccation, the taste of salt will be reinforced. So at this stage, we don't use salt. The main constraint is to avoid ingredients that can cause annoying physiological reactions for the astronauts. But on special occasions, they are treated to a special menu that reminds them of home. There are many recipes that are appreciated by the astronauts. They are fond of gourmand dishes. Desserts are working well, especially the fondue chocolate cake. It is ordered almost every time. Then you have some festive dishes with scallops or lobster that are in demand because they want to enjoy an exceptional meal in space. There is no scientific research to prove if fine diving helps put a spring in the step of the astronauts when they take a walk in space. But up there in orbit, it is good, no doubt, to have the taste of home. Red stripes, EV1 or extra vehicular.